In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, I'd like to show you how you can create a simple circle graphic and layer some other things on top of it. We're going to use text for use in PhotoDirector or any other application. Simple graphics are very common and very useful, so we'll show you how to create a circle one. I'm in a program where I've already had a photograph loaded. It really doesn't matter because we're going to start from scratch. To do that, I click on the edit button in the upper right corner and go to expert. When I'm in expert, I'm going to click on the leftmost icon in the very top, right under the symbol for photo director and choose create empty project. When I create the project, I can give it a title if I want. I'll just call this ABC and then what I want to do is decide how big it should be. The only element you have to consider when height and width is you want to make sure it's bigger than you want your object to be so you have room to edit. I'll crop it down in the end anyway so this is far bigger than what I need. And the background I want to make sure I'm on transparent because I want to create a PNG out of this so it won't have a background except for the object itself. So I'm going to click on OK. And now I have my boring background later. Next thing I want to do is create a new layer. I'm going to click on that same icon in the upper left corner and do Add Empty Layer. With that layer selected, what I want to do is draw a circle. I don't have a circle in my options on the right, but I do have a square. And the square represents all kinds of shapes. If I click on it, I can see I can do an ellipse or I can do a rectangle or polygon or star. Now since a circle is a subset of an ellipse, the ellipse is what I want to use. And then I can draw it from the center out or I can draw it from corner to corner. I kind of prefer corner to corner. If you like center, you just check the box. And I can select an initial color if I want. What I'm going to do is leave the shape mode normal and leave this on, not from center. I'll do upper left to lower right and I'll just create my circle. See how close I can get to really round. And when I look, oh I wasn't too bad off here. It looks pretty much like a circle. But if I want to change that, I can click on any of the numbers. I can double click on it, drag across the numbers and type the one I want. I'll go 900 and I'll go down to the other one and we'll do the same thing. Make a 900 as well. Now I have my perfect circle. Now, if you're interested in something that is not a circle without a border or anything else, this you're done already. But what if you want to add a border or even change it so it's not a solid color? Let me give you a couple of tips. There's many more things you can do, and we have tutorials on those features in terms of this thing about layer properties. You click on the FX, make sure you're on layer one circle. So I'm going to click on that. And here are all kinds of things we can use. We can do bevel and emboss. We're not going to touch on that. A simple border, you click on border one, and you can add multiple borders by clicking on the plus, by the way. And here my default color is white. My default size is 10 pixels. Uh, my blending is normal. It's outside border and all those things. I can do a color or I can do a gradient border. But if I wanted a different color, I can click here and choose either from the color board, any other color for the border, or choose something from the color wheel options as well. So those are the ways I can modify my border. In this case, I'm not going to use a border, but that's the controls that you use if you want one on your graphic. The other option we have that I think is kind of interesting is you can use a gradient. We have a tutorial on this. It starts out with a simple black and white. These are my color stops. If I want to change it, I click on the black one, click on color. Now, why is my color board black? Because I'm in black and it's on full intensity here. If I drag it up even a little bit, I'm going to be able to see all the colors in my color spectrum. Or again, I can use the color wheel instead. So let's take something in the light blue, click on OK. I'll go to the other color stop at the other end and click on that color. And let's go to a darker blue. And so there we have some contrast if we want. I'll click on OK. If I wanted to, I could add as many other stops as I want by clicking on the plus here. It will select a color, which I can change later. And here I have my middle stop, and I can move it to adjust the colors that way. 
and I can also change the gradient if I want. So if I want something maybe like that, there we go. And again, we can add a border or any of the other features. For now, let's assume that's close to what I'd like. So there I have my graphic. Now I want to add some text on it because I want to export it that way rather than add text and layer on it in another application. Easiest way to do that is create a new layer. Now I don't have to go on create layer because if I use a text tool, it will automatically do that. So I'm going to click on T and I'm not going to put it on the circle for clarity. I'm going to put it over here. And here I can type my text. Uh, I could put sale and I can move it, move it around anywhere I want. Let me give you a positioning tip or two. I'm going to turn off sale by clicking on the I on the left side. And then that gives me only my layer with the circle. If I want to center the circle on the screen, I just drag on the edge of the image and I'm going to see a blue line. And I can also see the other blue line so I can center it perfectly right there. So I want to make sure that's centered. Now I'm going to click my sail on, drag that, and we're going to see the little pink line. Here I've aligned it in the center if that's what I want. What if I want another text? It's very easy. I click on the text tool again. I want to make sure I'm off of sail. I'm going to click up here, double click. And this will create another. And it, you notice it inherits the qualities of the previous one. If I want something different, I have to make sure I have that selected. We'll change the color of it to something else. Let's change that to a green. We can change the font family if I want. We can change the size. Let's change a couple of these. We'll change this and we'll change the size. We'll go to uh, 200. Every time you create text, it creates a new layer. Now you notice it gives the layer the name of the text. The thing I found out you have to be careful about is you have to make sure you're clicking in the right layer if you're going to edit any of these. Because sometimes I think I'm working on sale and I'm working on the word another or I'm working on the, on the layer that has a circle in it. And so it can be a bit confusing. But let's add a third one just to show you how easy. I'm going to click away from the other two, type another word and type 50%. And we'll make it wide enough to hold the whole thing. And we'll change the color of that. Let's change it to a white. Click on OK. And we'll change the font to something different yet. And then we'll click and drag. We'll move it in the center. I'm going to click back on my another layer. Make sure it's inside the circle. And on another, I want to change some other things. Let's, let's put a border on it. There's a simple way to do a border. It's not as flexible as the other, but it does work. And so I have three elements inside my circle. And again, I can align this uh, by clicking on the edge until the pink lines line up. And there I know I'm, I'm aligned the way I want to be. When I'm done with that, I'm going to click on the arrow tool and we'll click on Crop in the upper right corner. And I want, don't want original. I'll do custom. And I, I can take and resize this to just about the size of my object, even though the border is transparent. I don't want any bigger than I need. And then click on the check mark. And now there is my object. If I want to export it as a PNG, I can go save as. And here would be an example, ABC PNG, and I click on Save. So it's a nice tool if you want to create circular graphics.